Hello guys, welcome back and in this video we're going to consider how to use reactive. So, so far we have seen how to use, you know, the ref keyword in view, which is uh, basically used to create mutable uh, variables. So variables that you can track the change, you can update and everything. But for now, in this uh, lesson, I want us to consider how to use reactive. So to use reactive is very simple, you just uh, add reactive here. And so the main difference between ref and reactive is that reactive, you cannot use reactive on the primitive data type, the normal data type such as you know, the string, the number, the boolean. So reactive is majorly used on the arrays and on the objects. So for example, now it will be wrong. So the value that you pass in reactive are expected to be uh, objects or even array, you know, collection of data. So in this case, what I'm going to do, let me just comment these two first, uh, these first two lines here. And for the names, I'm going to change this to be reactive. Uh, so this is now okay. And then for this guy, I'm going to also change uh, this to be reactive. So you might be wondering why change, you know, why change uh, the object or use the reactive on objects and array. And the main advantage is that when I create this reactive and passing objects, now when updating the values that I want inside this object, I don't have to, you know, to say uh, person dot value dot name, something of that nature. I just have to say, you know, very simple person dot. It just become a normal object. So you just use the name of the object and then the value that you want to update. In my case, I can say maybe I want to update the name to be you know, Timothy test, and then uh, here I can say update person, and then here I can do is I can say person name, and then when I want to click the second button, I can say I want to update person like this, and then of course see i can just call this uh, method which is update person like so let us save this let us go here for now it is kevin if i click here it is timothy test so now that is the good thing with uh you know with the reactive we don't necessarily need to call the dot value in order to update the variables that belong to this person but the downside is of course uh, you don't have the ability to use the primitive data types for the uh, view that you normally use. So what I will suggest is that number one, for the primitive data type, when using, you know, uh, maybe string number, just use ref instead. But when it comes to object, you can switch and use reactive. That will be a good practice. And number two, the thing about uh, reactive again is that if I do, for example, I cannot destructure a reactive object. I cannot say something like this. I cannot come here and say, let me, let me use let here so that I can be able to update this guy. I cannot say, let me just use const is okay for now. I cannot say that I have maybe a const and here I can destructure this and say the name, you know, and say that the name is equal go to person so if you don't know what this is uh, this is basically you are trying to get the you know the value that belongs or the specific keys that belongs to this object by just passing the name of the key here so that is expected to get the value for that specific key so and maybe down here i say that i want the name to be equal to miles milestone that is the new name that i expect uh, to have so i guess this should be late so i cannot be able to do something like this and then you know expect that uh, this guy will be updated so let me just try and move this guy here like this so that is okay so what i want to do is when i call this update person now i can just remove the message that i'm passing here so we don't update person that is okay i expect the new name here to be displayed here to be 
this name miles my, this name milestone that is because i've destructured this object and i've updated the uh the name but however this will not work with the reactive so if i go here let me go to the browser let me do a refresh here let me click the second guy you see nothing is zapping so that is one thing key thing that you ought to know about reactive you cannot update it by destructuring the object yeah it will not affect anything so that is it guys for reactive and ref and hopefully you have been able now to understand you know how to create reactive variables and then let us meet in the next lesson